I'm Alan with the Plant Farm. We're here in our basket growing facility. We have a number of different greenhouses, but this one here is adjoining our retail area. A lot of people every spring ask me questions about how to take care of their hanging basket. And really when you think in terms of how much investment you put into your planters or your hanging baskets, I think it's a very important question and one that we should address. So I'm going to show you real quickly how to take care of the basket. It's very simple. There's really just four things we have to do to take care of a planter or our basket in such a way where it is very nice and beautiful all season long. There's a few things that bother baskets. Really, I think the first one I see is, is the fact that they have bugs occasionally that come in through the summertime. Uh, people maybe go to the lake and they run out of water during the weekend. Uh, it's possible that they, they don't fertilize and so the planter or the basket uh, ends up running out of food. Uh, and finally, sometimes they get a little bit leggy. So let's deal with those four things. Uh, first, when you think in terms of leggy, uh, you've got a nice, well-shaped basket like this, and I know everybody would like to keep it that way. And you can do that if you just simply come in and just pinch on occasion a few different places in the basket. Taking just the tips off, uh, right here, we know we're looking at one of the proven winter baskets. There's a, it's a good recipe this happens to be. Uh, a little, uh, this is some of the uh, Symphony Osteo. Here's one of their new Calibria Coas, and one of their uh, Petunias here. And we just pinch a few of these tips. Make sure we get a little bit of the Calibria Coa. We'll take a little bit of the Osteo out of here. And what we do is we'll cause these plants to branch right there at, the, at that uh, pinching point. And now, you don't have to take a lot at any given time, but if you make a practice, when you're taking care of your plant uh, or when you're watering it to do that then what will happen is the plant will always be a lot fuller at the same time if you've got a long runner you can trim it off and maintain now food is another one shape. of the key things right here and so this is a very simple fertilizer to use osmocote uh, because it's slow release it's not so hot that it burns a hole i know there's some different uh, granular type fertilizers people use and a lot of times I'll see they bring their basket back and they burned a hole right through the middle of it. But if you use the Osmocote, you don't have that problem. And it doesn't take that much, but what we want to do is we just want to take that Osmocote and sprinkle it down inside. Okay, use our finger to work that into the soil a little bit. And this is a slow release fertilizer, so it's not all going to be there at the same time. But what happens, these pearls actually swell up due to the hydraulic pressure inside and begin to release the fertility. And there's different coatings that dissolve at different times, which is a lot, which is what allows this to be a three-month uh, uh, fertilizer, slow-release fertilizer. And if you're a little concerned that you maybe didn't get enough on there, maybe wait three or four weeks and do a little bit more. Um, now, when you think in terms of bugs, this might be one of the easiest things to take care of and the thing that people forget the most. But this is a systemic granular insecticide. The key ingredient is right down here. When you're looking at your... your uh, your insecticides. Look for this ingredient. It says imidacloprid. And that is a systemic insecticide that dissolves, moves up through the through the plant and into the tips where we see thrips. That's our number one enemy here in the Pacific Northwest during the summer months. And the thrips, of course, uh, as they eat on this plant, they get some of this as systemic in their system and it immediately wipes them out. Uh, but just want to take a little bit of this systemic and work it in uh, sprinkle it into the into the pot and use your finger and kind of work it in a little bit so that the end result is is we've got some spread out systemic uh, protecting this plant from the invasion of insects and then finally the other problem that people experience of course is watering and there's a lot of different ways to take care of that one you can just manually water every day I would really recommend that you take uh, your sprinkler system that you already have around your house and just pull a, a small tube off of your sprinkler system and run a drip emitter line up to the basket and to your planter. Uh, one little system, you buy these in the hardware store, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but one little system uh, can water 25 or 30 different pots if you're using a, a slow drip emitter type head that's dripping about a gallon an hour. And just go ahead and set your system to run a little bit longer and, and put the water on the plant. But those four things, if you take care of the water, 
if you take care of the food, if you take care of the branching issue, and you take care of the bugs, you'll have nice baskets or nice planters all season long. I'm Alan at the plant farm, and this has been another gardening tip for you.